Hey everyone, my name is Steven. I am Stacy's younger brother. I am here at the Compassionate Friends National Conference for bereaved or grieving siblings, parents, and grandparents. And I facilitate a couple of workshops here as I am nearing 22 years out after my sister had died. And I do a somatic breath work. And so that is something new that I've added to my tool belt as I thought, oh, I'm going to learn this to teach other people. And what happened was I had my own experience uh, with somatic breath work because Breathing speaks to the body because the body does not speak language, our brain and our thoughts do. And so I had the opportunity to go through breath work and be able to get out some of the grief that was still stuck in my body. Again, I've been coming to the conferences for quite a few years. I now do workshops. I am on a sibling committee and give back and support others who are newer in their journey. And my original experience in breath work was very relaxing and grounding because at first I didn't know what to expect either. And so I know when I have done breathwork sessions where I live, a lot of people don't know what to expect. They ask like, what is this? How do I do it? And even sometimes after the session, people get confused and they go, wow, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that to be what I thought it was. Or they say, I get stuck in my head. And that's perfectly okay because it is more of a practice. So if you do breath work, it doesn't have to be an everyday thing. It could be once a week, it could be once a month. And I think people get stuck on how do I breathe and how do I get out of my head? Because I think a lot of people are scared that they have to do this long, intense, scary breath work, or they might think it's very, as some people might say, wooey uh, spiritually. And for me, it's not. Um, as someone who is you know, non-religious and, again, wanting to add something new to my tool belt, breath work was something that isn't, it doesn't have to be spiritual, but if you are, it can be. It, it can be as intense as you want it to be. So if you want to have a more intense experience, you are in control of how fast and how deep you breathe. And if you want to have a more gentle experience and just to see more or to have more of an awareness of what's in your body, then you can actually slow it down. So you're always in control. There's music that's played in the background that helps with the rhythm. So it's a little faster in the beginning and it's all a little slower at the end. And that way it gives the body an opportunity to kind of get any stress or grief out of the body. And at the end, kind of bringing back love or gratitude or clarity depending on what your intention is on, on the breath work. And I think that's the beauty of, of grief. Grief is nonlinear and, and breath work is too. It's, it's a time to go in. Sometimes you expect your grief to come out. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you don't expect anything. And then sometimes a lot of stuff comes out. So there isn't a big, you know, intention that I give instruction to because it's more about what is in the body and again since the body doesn't talk the body feels we use the breath to kind of find what's stuck and then we kind of can connect after people like to share and take it from there